let's learn how to break the link between copy and pasted components in Fusion 360. My name's Adam James and be sure to like and subscribe for jumping right on in. So this tutorial is going to be straight into the point. We'll jump right into Fusion 360. Make sure you've activated your top assembly and then the basic workflow to copy and paste a component, right? Let's say you've got this feature here or this component rather, and it's got a bunch of complex features like drafts and fillets and these locating posts and some bosses, but you wanna copy and paste this to reference this part specifically because, well, nobody wants to go and create this in CAD all over again. And what you wanna do from there is add different features or modify it. but the problem is when you go to copy and paste this, let's copy and then we'll right click on the assembly and we'll do paste. And let's say just for the purpose of this example, we'll flip it by 180 degrees and say this is being snapped on to something. I just made this part up. So th this part just is <laughs> doesn't really exist and serves no function. But let's say we want to snap this and it's going to snap onto like a, a cylinder in the middle or something like that. So we'll press OK. And all looks well, right? We've got two components now and we're ready to go. However, let's say you want to go back into your existing part. So let's go into actually let's rename these. So we'll call this shelled cylinder um two actually maybe it was already named that but oh this one also says shelled cylinder two um let's just do so shelled cylinder part one. Oh wow actually it doesn't even i didn't even know this part two. Oh, wow so you can't even <laughs> so that's the first issue you can't even give it a specific different name it's it's literally a copy and paste so i mean that's that's a, a preview into the issues that we're about to go find because when you activate this component and say let's like what would be a good example let's say maybe on this bottom one you don't need as many snap features however on the top you want all of them to be there so i mean this is kind of a, a janky way to do it but let's just create a sketch here and we can, uh, again, this is very quick and not how we would traditionally do it, but we'll just create like this big spline here. And this is just going to be an extrusion, right? So finish sketch. And we'll select this, extrude it, and we'll just go all the way down to here. And we'll select OK. Looks good. Now let's go. Now what you can see is it did it to the other one as well. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid, right? We're trying to break the link in between the copy and pasted components. So I think you guys can see where this is going, right? If we select extrude and then we go into pattern, uh, circular pattern, we've got this object selected axis. Let me show the origin here. Yep, show the origin and we'll just do like, I don't know, five, because I think it was mirrored 10 times. So yeah, it looks great. How, uh, and you can see it right now. So let's activate the assembly. You can see all it's doing is copy and pasting everything and anything I do to the original part. Not only that, if I go into the quote unquote copy and pasted part and I make modifications there, let's just do like a simple little extrusion here on the top plane. You can guess what's going to happen. It's going to add it to the bottom one because what this is doing is just duplicating the part and mirroring each and every single command and feature we add to it. So let's delete this because this is the issue you that probably led you to this tutorial. Let's go ahead and delete uh, all these features that we made. Let's show you the actual way to do it. So right click on this guy. Actually, go up here. Make sure this is activated in the assembly, left click, and then right click on the part. Remember we have this, actually let's rename it. This is part one. <clears throat> right click on the shelled part, and then all we're going to do is do copy, right click, and then do paste new. You see this paste new, yep, paste new, and then we're gonna do the same workflow, right? 
rotate it by 180 degrees, shift it up by 50 millimeters, boom, boom. Let's just save this. Always remember to save. And let's go, te uh, let's rename this first. Uh, we'll call this shelled cylinder part two. So let's say, for example, on this part, we go, oh, shoot, I forgot to add. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we'll just do the same exact capture position. We'll do the same exact thing, right? We'll do a, a circle or something on the back side. And we want to extrude this because maybe we want like a feature or something and we want to show this like one millimeter or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably don't want to do that. Let's let's go back. Delete. Okay, great. So we've got this random feature um, for whatever reason. But when we go to our other part, you'll notice it's not there. It's a completely different part. But you still, when you, when you activate this part, you'll see that you have access to everything in the history timeline and it isn't referenced or associated to the original part. Okay, let's say we want to go in here and for example on the mirrored or copied part, and this is a benefit, let's say on the copied part we want to get rid of all these, um, uh, actually let's, let's get rid of all of maybe the snaps or something. Maybe we don't need the snaps. So we, let's roll the history timeline back. Oh boy. Okay. Roll the history timeline back and we'll delete it. Yes, it's referenced by other stuff. Oh boy, this is going to turn red. Everything's going to break. The world's coming to an end. It's just CAD guys. It's just CAD. Let's delete that. And look, <clears throat> we're all good to go. Let's go check the other part. It changed nothing because this is its own separate part you can go back and modify because it's copying and pasting its initial reference but then creating a new part such that you don't have to go and create every single geometry within fusion 360 now what's interesting here as i'm noticing is it did flip it back so i guess what we could do is just make sure this is activated right click on your copied part and we'll make sure this works before we end the video because this is a very short tutorial. Move copy, oh, rotate this 180. Whoa, 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 180 and then shift it up by 50, oh, 50 millimeters, that's okay. All is well in the world. You can see we got rid of that snap and oh the original feature did this just make sure this is still here oh yeah see now the original part has that extrusion that we made and the other part has different geometry that we went back into its own history timeline and changed and of course you can add geometry and continue to modify the CAD from there. But that's it guys. If you found any value in this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.